Hello friends and family and welcome to the Friday, August 7th edition of the Crippling Anxiety Meditation Conversation. I realize that today's video is coming very late and I apologize for that. Um, I've been a little busy this week, but uh, today I wanted to talk about the idea of satisfaction. Um, maybe not in the context where accustomed to thinking about it. Um, I have had, not so much lately, but especially as a child, I had a recurring dream. It was sort of an action movie dream where I would, uh, I would be fighting with the bad guy and the action sequence would get to a point where I was um, where I was winning and so I would be punching the bad guy in the face essentially and weirdly enough the way that this dream usually went was that I was I, I was there I was basically at the end of the action sequence and it wouldn't finish I couldn't beat the bad guy up. I couldn't uh, conclude the fight. And that's how the dream would end, um, with no closure and no kind of sense of satisfaction. And I think that as a child, this bothered me a lot. Um, but as adults, we often run into this situation a lot as well. It's frustrating to have a project that we can't finish or a degree, or a conversation even sometimes. Um, it is frustrating when things just kind of peter out instead of coming to a logical conclusion, a nice clean conclusion. And this is one of the more difficult aspects of meditation, is that there is no satisfaction in it really. Um, there is no closure, there's no kind of, yay, I won. Um, after one hour of meditation, you don't get up and have that same sort of um, self-congratulatory feeling that you have at the end of one hour in the gym or one hour going out for a run or for a bike ride. Um, those things, I usually get home after an exercise, uh, like one hour exercise routine sort of thing, whether it's a bike ride or whether it's uh, going to the gym and doing some sort of exercise or a yoga class. I usually get home from that feeling like, yeah, good, good for me, I did that. And with meditation, it's not usually like that. It usually has this kind of dull, sloping off sort of feeling. It doesn't, it doesn't have an abrupt uh, kind of closure to it. And I think a lot of people can find that really frustrating. Uh, I know that I can. And we often grope for these uh, more immediate senses of satisfaction. These kind of um, activities that have closure to them. If you watch a movie, it has a beginning, a middle, and end. Um, and sometimes movies feel like they don't have closure uh, as well. But generally, the structure of a movie will give you some sense of closure by the end. Oh, okay, that's over, it's done, I watched the movie. Um, and it's the case with most other activities in our life. And the benefits that you get from meditation tend to be quite different. They tend to be dissolving benefits. So you're dissolving bits of anger piece by piece. You're dissolving bits of greed piece by piece. There's no point where you can really say, okay, yay, I did it. I won the battle against greed. I don't have any more greed. Um, I'm no longer an angry person. Uh, success. <laughs> I've achieved it. Um, and I think that that's worth keeping in mind, that as we're trying to do this, as we're trying to meditate together or alone, that 
we won't ever have that um, sensation of crossing the finish line. We won't have won the race ever. Um, it's a continuous activity and it's one of dissipation rather than one of closure. With that thought, I will leave you for Friday. I will try to be a bit better about getting these videos out on time uh, starting tomorrow, I promise. All right, I hope everyone is taking good care of themselves. I hope that after this, uh, you sit for 10 minutes of Anapan by yourself or with your family, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.